Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? Winning Cures Everything. Week zero preview time. Let's jam it. All right. So we're talking Hawaii and Arizona today. It's happening down on the island. Of course, it's week zero. There's only two games to preview this week. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. This is Winning Cures Everything. You can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. So do yourself a favor. Go check that out. we got gambling picks. We're going to have football pick em contests starting with week one next week, Labor Day weekend, etc. Plenty of gift packages and whatnot from Tunica, Mississippi, from some of the sports books and whatnot down there. So, along with that, the show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Six wonderful, incredible sports books. You can find more information about them along with all of the other happenings down in Tunica over at tunicatravel.com. Again, back to us, winningcureseverything.com. Hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Winning Cures. You can follow me at Gary WCE. You can follow me at Chris B. Giannini. We are going to start doing a Q&A show, Q&A segment, whatever you want to call it, every week. Get those questions in. You can leave them on the YouTube. You can leave them at uh, either of our Twitters, uh, at the official Twitter you can send it to winningcureseverything at gmail.com. We'll read it out on the show. Uh, eventually, we might get into doing like call-ins and whatnot. We'll, we'll see. We'll Figure see what happens. Out. But either way, for now, you want to ask us a question? We'll answer it. We can get down with it. This should be a lot of fun. So make sure you get those in before next week. Uh, we will record on Tuesday night. We'll, uh, we'll share that thing out. So we are now two minutes into this, and we haven't done a single bit of previewing and that's okay. This game is going to be fast. It's going to be fun. I take that back. By fast, I mean the action on the field, not the actual length of the game. Because I think the length of the game could last a really long time. Because both of these teams are going to fling this thing around, and that clock is going to stop every play. Basically. And this is one of those late night games, by the way. Yes, late night. It is 9.30 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. It's on the island. It's Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. Man, I cannot talk just today. Get your, just get your afternoon nap in. I need one. I need one. Uh, so yeah, 9.30 p.m. Central Time, not that bad. Uh, we've got Arizona, minus 11. Minus 110, the juice on both sides on this one. Yeah, standard. Standard. At Hawaii, the total is 70 and a half. Uh, the total actually, that, that was the opening line. I, was just about I wrote to say, this down early. It is now right. 74 and a half. It's just 74. Is it 74? Yep. I thought we just saw it. All right, so 74. Let's roll with 74. You would think that I would know. Yeah, just 74. I don't know if Caesar's got a 74 and a half. Well, what is the consensus? <laughs> the consensus is 74. I mean, I'm sure you can find 74. it a half point one way or another. And if, if you're watching this show, make sure you do that. Shop around a little bit. Yeah, do we encourage shopping for lines. Uh, so let's let's talk about what I know about this. And, of course, you don't like these. You don't believe in trends, etc. Yeah, I don't care anything about trends. That's okay. Well, there's, What happened last year is irrelevant to this. There thing. is no real trend with this. Hawaii was 2-3-1 and one against the spread at home last year. Arizona was 2-3 and three against the spread on the road. So there's really nothing to gather from that. Uh, but here is something that you can gather. Hawaii three and zero against the spread in openers under Rolovich. Six and zero against the spread at home against the Pac-12 in their last six. That's pretty impressive. Eighteen starters back. They got a healthy Cole McDonald now, who, by the way, was the number eight overall passing yards leader in the NCAA last year, and he did it with an injury. That's pretty crazy. He's oh, really good. He is phenomenal. He's really good. And they've good. got all five starters back on the offensive line. They've yep. got skilled talent. This will be uh, that coach's most talented team in Hawaii since he's been there. And it's year four. It should be. This is when it's finally all of his guys. It makes sense. Kevin Sumlin, eight and six against the spread as a 10-point road favorite over the last 10 years. There is nothing to gain from that, but it is a cool statistic to trot out there. What we know is Khalil Tate is healthy, and Arizona and Hawaii's defenses can't stop air. So They're bad. 
they're really bad. And the fact that this opened at 70 and a half and has been bet up to 74 does not surprise me in the slightest. Once again, I said this in the first preview in the Miami game. I'm going to say it a lot in week one when we get to that point. All of these spreads that have been out for three months, two months, that you could bet forever, these opening week lines, they are about as efficient as they can be now. But when they opened up, Vegas is still trying to learn these teams so many things. When you make a spread two months ago, we know very little about these teams. When they made the Miami Florida line, they didn't know who Miami's quarterback was. Yeah. Like nobody in the country knew who Miami's quarterback was. They hadn't right. even started practicing and, and working yet. And so it's just one of those things where line movement doesn't scare me. I, I told you before this thing started, I don't know what the number would have had to have gotten to for me to go under. I think in the eighties I would still I would still bet the over. I I could see that. That that see might that. be extreme and I might lose it just on the under that we have now. The number we have now, it might go under, but I'm not a I'm not afraid to bet big, big numbers. Well, I will I will say this. Hawaii gave up over twenty four points in eleven of their twelve games last well, year. For it to get over seventy four, so they're gonna have to give up a hell of a lot more than twenty four. So with the line up to seventy four now, um with Arizona favored by eleven, what you've got is basically they're looking around forty one to thirty, forty two to thirty one. Something like that. Yep. Um, last year, let's see, Hawaii scored over 40 points in one, two, three, four, five. All right, so he got hurt in the San Jose or at the uh in the Wyoming game. And the, like Cole McDonald. That's did. right. So the offense was humming right along when he got injured. Now he did play, you know, most of the rest of the year with an injury, but you could tell there was a difference. They scored 43, 59, 43, 21 at Army uh, for an 11 o'clock kick, which was the most unfair thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but 21 there, 42, 44. And then after he gets injured, 17, 23, 22, 50, 17. And then finally he started feeling a little better. He scored 35, 31, and then they lost the, the bowl game to Louisiana Tech and scored 14 in that one. But their defense, on the other side, they gave up, let's see, over 50 twice. They gave up over 43 times. That's going to be their biggest problem. That's the issue here. So, And I trust them to score. Yeah. I mean, BYU put 49 on them. Nevada put 40. Fresno State put 50. Utah State put 56. And Arizona, with Kevin Sumlin, is going to put up some points. That's right. So, now the issue is... I'm crazy excited to watch Khalil Tate in this game. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious, what Khalil Tate are we going to get? Kevin Sumlin's going to take the reins off this kid. Let him. Well, run. here's the thing. So, remember, they all talked about how he was injured all last year, but he wasn't injured the first two games. I don't like that. And they, I mean, they I hate when a kid's playing bad. It's not just a kid, anybody. I do it in the NFL, too. You a guy plays bad for a while, and then all of a sudden, oh, well, well, he's he hurt. He was hurt. He's hurt. No, no, no. If you're out there, you're playing. Everybody's playing hurt after week one. Yeah. Nobody's 100%. It's football. I mean, he played all year. So. I, I think Kevin Sumlin, I didn't like the schemes they were running. I didn't like the offense they were running last year. Kevin Sumlin is smarter than that. He is a good offensive mind in college football. He knows these things. Surely a year of bumbling this, he's going to undo him. He's gonna let him run. He's gonna let this kid go. I would he imagine is incredible. Like, Hawaii's defense should not be able to stop them. That's right. So, and then of course you've got uh, JJ Taylor. Um, I believe that's his name, right? JJ Taylor. Yes. Oh, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, JJ Taylor, five foot six, hundred eighty five pounds. Yep. Uh, yeah, small dude. Um, but he's, I mean, he's a beast. That's right. He's quick. This offense has got speed all over the place. They're gonna be able to. Run the ball, throw the ball. Well, that is a mark of a Kevin Sumlin team. It's right. just, they're going to be fast. Now, let's go ahead and make some picks. All right. I'm going to take Hawaii to cover the spread. Plus the 11. I'm going to take Arizona to win the game, though. Now, the next week, I might have Hawaii beating Oregon State. But we'll talk about that later, because that's another pack to Oregon State. 
I understand that. You can't compare these two teams. They're both from the Pac-12, and they're both going to the island. What do you want me to do? <laughs> All right, so I'm taking Hawaii plus the 11. I'm going to take Arizona to win the game straight up. I would take Hawaii plus the 11. I would take Arizona to win the game straight up, and I'm going over. All right. We're going to start doing over picks, over-unders. I don't know. May as well. If, I, if I'm going to bet it, I'm going to tell people I'm going to bet it. If That's I'm not going to bet it, I might not. I'm not touching the 74. But you can touch the 74 if you want. It's week zero, which is ridiculous and bothers me to begin with. And I have two games. It is fun, though. I've been hot and horny for football for so long. And now I get it, and I get two games, one of which starts at 9.30. <laughs> well, I mean, get your afternoon nap in. It'll be okay. That's going to wrap it up for today's show. We'll be back next week with actual, real, full gambling picks, previews, all sorts of different stuff. I can't wait. Hopefully you will join us. Hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button if you're listening on a podcast. Whatever your favorite podcast app is, if it's on Apple, leave a nice review for us. We would really appreciate that. And share the show out. WinningCuresEverything.com, the show brought to you by TunicaTravel.com. Go check all that wonderful stuff out. We will see you guys again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at WinningCuresEverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.